Welcome back, everyone, to my playthrough of Half-Life. I'm feeling nostalgic. Picking up where I left off. Oh, bastard. Out there is a down there. I have to take care of this guy. He's right where I'm supposed to come out, I think. You. Die for me. Bastard. Yes, there's that valve. I need to flood this so I can get out. There's the opening. Is there anything around the corner? I don't remember. Should check. Might be some weapons or ammo or health packs or something. Don't know. Oh, just loops back. Okay. Sewage lines have been checked. There we go. All right. Come on. <sighs> Come on. All right. Uh. Oh yeah. I remember this. It's a real pain in the butt. It's a long elevator ride down. And there's going to be a bunch of those head humpers coming out of that grate in the wall. So uh, there they are. If I recall, if I can get them to jump in the wrong place, they'll just fall off the edge. It's almost impossible to hit. Are moving so fast. Ouch. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, they like to fling themselves over the edge there. Uh, I think I can get off this early. Get on that ridge. I know there's. Uh, a grinder under the water there. You can see some of these guys dying when they get down there. I think one of the first times I died playing through this was in the grinder here. Under the water. Wait, I think they're all dead. Well, you say that. Oh. oh. It's all coming back to me. Hound eye. Oh, they're so pathetic sounding when you kill them. Makes me sad. And now we're at the point where we're going to have to start breaking lots and lots of boxes. I don't remember which boxes have stuff in them or not. Might be random, I don't remember. But, we're going to need ammo. Yeah, I remember this. Is there a doorway? No, there wasn't. Oh, oh right. Pipes. First introduction to the play mechanic of crossing over pipes. And air ducts. I imagine we're going to be doing lots of this, right? that one of those grates that is just going to give away underneath me or 
Do I have to break it? If I do go a little right down that hole there, I don't want that to happen. Oh, right, I think this comes out on the other side where I'm trying to get to here. Yeah. Righty then. I don't know why I'm so nervous. It's because I haven't remembered the game. It's been so long that it's, it's almost new. Uh-oh. There's a Squidward down there. You missed. Haha. Uh -huh. Spitting acid all over the place. Arr. These guys. You don't really have to kill all of them, especially if they're not someplace that are going to be able to hit you. But I just feel better knowing that uh, they're no longer around. Plus, they're disgusting. They deserve to be dead. This is the one that had the staircase. Yeah. I remember. Amazing how much comes back to you. Well, I guess it's not. As I said, I played the little crap out of this when it first came out. I must have gone through it 20, 30 times. Each time you did it, you did it uh, quicker, almost like a run through. See, I don't need health at the moment. I don't recall if this water was acid or not. I don't think it was, because the only way forward really is to go through these openings here. So it can't be instant death anyway. Right. Now we're out on the other side. There we go. And nothing behind the door. Advantage killing all those critters from up on the other side. Don't have to deal with them when you get down here. I didn't really recall maybe those boxes with the metal rims don't have loot in them. Oh, I remember this. It's not too hard once you figure out the secret. You gotta jump from box to box. And it's very easy to slide off the box and into the depths. The trick is going right for the uh, connections there. It doesn't stop you from going over the edge. This one's all tricky because it's diagonal. You might scooch around it like that. Oh god. So close. This is a diagonal one as well. Just gotta be real careful. Okay. Made it. Victory is mine! I died there before as well. There's lots of places in this game that I died uh, when I first played through it. It's a, uh, it's a large game. There's a lot of air, area to cover. All right. First elevator ride.
Uh, oh, right, right. So, I remember that. You go down that hallway, all the power is on. Get electrocuted. Gotta go through that air vent there, I think. Oh, sorry. I triggered that. Uh, I recall now that if you go to the air vent first, without trying that doorway, you might be able to save that guy who was just gotten eaten by a barnacle. All right, if I stay close here, let the lightning do its trick. I recall there's a uh, hidden thing here. Fan blades. That's another play mechanic that comes into play there. These fan blades will kill you. I gotta shut the power off. That's really what I gotta do. I think I can do that in here. There's a tentacle. Barnacle tentacle. Say that three times fast. Rubber baby baby bunkers! Uh, there's some more hidden in. Yeah. Gordon, oh. if I'd known it was you, I'd have let you in. Everyone's heading for the service. But I think they're crazy not to stay put. Someone is bound to come by and rescue us. You'd think that, didn't you? Oh, no. I think there's another one there. You can see sort of red light. Shining through the ceiling. That's all right. They're all dead. I'm running low on ammo there. This is the switch to turn off the power. Right. Uh, now I can come back here and get some ammo there. Yeah, to get the secret ammo here, you gotta turn that power off. Else you can't get in there without the fan killing you. Lots of interesting play mechanics in this game. Oh yeah, that's another interesting play mechanic. Moving stuff around. Well, this place is at least nicely lit. Uh, yeah, can't go in there. Oh, the doorway is triggering a memory. Storage closet there. All right, let's see if there's stuff in here. I think that storage closet that we walked past has got a uh, zombie critter in it. The only way to get into it is to let the zombie critter aggro him so that he breaks the, the door and comes out. These little cockroaches are running around. Hello? Uh-huh. I knew you were there. Nothing. Oh, there's a party. Shotgun shells and a shotgun. <gasps> yeah. Finally, uh, a real weapon. Uh. Oh, shit. I just remembered. This guy's going to get killed. Nothing I can do about it. I needed him to open that cage, which means I needed to uh, kill that 
bumpy bastard before you got him. Oh well, I can't get in there now. There's some shotgun shells in there, but just have to make do with what I got. That's one of those tricks you learn. You play it a hundred times, and it. What you need to do is run in there and go towards the side of the, uh, the cage that you can shoot through. Just run in there real quick. Start shooting that zombie before he gets to Barney. And then Barney will open the door for you. And then you can get that the shotgun shells. I think there's some more around the corner too that are missing. Oh well, no use crying over spilt Barneys. If I ever play this again. <laughs> After another 10 years. Maybe I'll remember. Uh, you see where my uh, the keyboard are good for the flashlight. I recall the flashlight has a limited length of time and it needs to be recharged. You gotta come out. I think I pissed him off. Hello? I'm out. <laughs> I like the way they sort of laugh. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's some pistol ammo here. Get that. Gotta crouch to get that. <sighs> All these cockroaches running around. Uh, that's right, I gotta go through here. There's a head humper sitting on the table over there. And this is electrified. Had to stay out of the water. Oh, it gets zapped. I open that up. Hmm. Void the water. Uh, yes, there's a light switch over there on the wall. I see it's sparking. Remember, I have to go over and turn that switch off to get the power shut off so I won't get electrocuted if I fall in the water. Getting around this without getting shocked is it? Okay. There we go. No more shocky. Hmm. Anything in there? No. There's something in there. Yeah, there it is. Power level is 100%. Uh, yeah, that door out there is locked, so I'm going to have to go through that air vent. And there's going to be head on prison there, you just know it. Come here. Head on close. Come out to play, yay. Bunch of them. Come on. Crouch jump. Uh, I hear a fan. That's right. I need to go through here crouched. Or I get decapitated. It's all coming back to me. It'll do me good to remember stuff from 10 years ago. 20 years ago. 
however long it's been since I played this. Um, here we go. We'll open that door. Uh, must be a bunch of headhumpers here. Oh, yes, they're there. At this is where we got to push some boxes around to get to that ladder there. Anybody there waiting to pop out at me? Yeah. Oh, I hear another head humper up there. As I recall, this is a, a bit fiddly. Uh, how do I get that out of the corner? Uh, can I grab it? E. Hard to tell. Oh, yeah. You just hold the E button down while you're looking at it. And then move. Oh, shit. Up near the front of the box. Ladder is bumping my head on the ladder. Bugger! Yes, yeah, so now move sideways. Strafe. Yeah. There we go. <sighs> ah, I remember this being so fiddly. Okay, can I climb up here? Yes. Great. Uh. Only one way to go, down through there. I gotta break it. Still hear that hit on Bert. Yep. I guess he couldn't jump because the ceiling was too close. Right? What fresh hell is this? Uh, hello? I don't know, it seems too wide open. Ah, uh, racking wave. Oh, I think there's a sentry gun to the right. Uh, -huh. uh yep. Sorry, Professor. That's right. Sentry guns don't care if you're aliens or scientists. Doesn't matter. No, I want to. I want to get on top of that ledge. Did that kill you, sentry gun? Yes, it did. There's a switch there underneath that can turn the sentry gun off, but you gotta get there first. Not getting shot, but there you go. Do just what I did. Blow it up. I uh, can't get on top of that. I don't really need the health up there. I don't know what's in that box. Probably some ammo or something. But eh, what can you do? You can get up there if you're carefully jump from the top of the uh, air vent to the top of the shelving unit. It's too late for that now. I know there's some goodies in here. First time I played through this game, this is where I first got the shotgun. I never did go around that one corner to where the Barney was. Since that's sort of a dead end, I think I missed that whole entire area the first time I played through. 
Alrighty. I'm gonna move on. Oh, oh, gaggle of Lamars. another sentry gun around here somewhere. There. Put up over that edge. The Barney under attack. Man, you see that shot? No, I didn't. You gotta come with me, Barney. Need your help, Barney. Yeah, let's go. I hear Vortigaunts. You little bastard. Fargan ice holes. Yep, definitely Vortigaunts running around. <laughs> I guess you guys shouldn't have gone through there. That was one of the more entertaining little side scenes of scientists trying to escape. There. Uh huh, I see you. Oh shit. Caught me in a reload. Shotgun takes forever to reload. <sighs> you aim correctly. Shotgun could be a one shot kill on those warts. Shoot them right in the giant eyeball. Right? Which I'm not doing because I suck. Eat through our shotgun ammo here. Oh, bugger off. All right, anything? Yeah, ammo there. Get it. Make sure none of them are creeping up behind me. I still hear them. Oh. See him click through the wall there. Surprise! Excellent. <sighs> Disgusting. Right then. Call anybody being in here other than a scientist. Happen, but the administrator just would not listen. The administrator wanted it to happen. What if the world finds out what we were doing down here? Dr. Breen, the administrative the asshole. Uh-huh. You hear him chirping before you see him. I uh, don't need health at the moment. Doing really well. Maintaining my health. Almost got a full charge on the suit. Uh, yeah, there's a Vortigaunt hiding by the soda machine. I remember this because the first time I uh, chucked a grenade in there and that soda machine pops out about a hundred soda cans on the floor. Sorry, man. It's 
funny after playing uh, Half Life 2. You feel sorry for the Vortigants. And back in the day, they were just creepy monsters that you wanted to get rid of. I get that barnacle first because I, I recalled some of the NPCs running around and getting eaten up by that. Oh yeah, that's where it is. Yeah. And you have to let it break the glass first. Oh shoot, come on. Ouch. It's so hard to get a grenade up in there. Ah. Gotta aim, aim to the side of it, you idiot. There we go. Yeah, it took me a while to remember to uh, toss it to the side. Also, it bounces right out of there. They weren't totally wasted. There were a bunch of head humpers up here. Oh, yeah. Strategically located explosive box. To get you. Oh, just, just injured you. If you time it right, you get it r while they're right next to it, you can blow them up. Ah, I see a lot of air vents. And I hear some vorts. Yep. Prepare. Repair. Hello. Hello. Uh. I hear. Oh, I hear a squid word. Hello? Like the looks of that. Ouch. Squidward. Their doing noise is pathetic as well. Juicy, juicy ammo. Grenades. Whoa. Shoot. Got me without my shotgun in my hand. Now, hey, Barn. Those boys could have made a bigger mess. I don't think so, Barney. I don't think so. Hey, what the hell are you doing down here? Get topside. What I do you think I'm trying to do, you moron? I think I do need to go this way. Even if your air vent doesn't lead you ahead, it generally leads you to some goodies anyway. Alright, this is a low speed fan. I don't think it causes grief. remember getting shocked in that hole there so I'm gonna avoid that and that's just where I came from I gotta jump over this all right more air vents see if I can break it without exposing myself uh phrasing Thought you'd jump down on me with a little bastard. Oh yeah, this is the outer hallway we just came through. Dead forts on the floor. 
Where does this go? Oh. Oh, that's where it goes. Now I remember why I went down to that lower area first and killed all those monsters. You come up this way first and you fall off. All the, those monsters attack you right off the bat. They gang up on you. I don't care too much about these guys because they'll fall down. But, see, I accidentally did it in the right order. Going down there first and then up here. Accidentally, I'd say. I learned my lesson a long time ago and I didn't forget. It was tucked away in my memories. Oh yeah, false ceiling to fall through. Anybody? Nope. Some juicy, juicy ammo. Ooh, we got lots of shotgun shells. Fully loaded on grenades. Pop our health off. See, we're still doing pretty good shape. Health and armor there. Can't complain. Yeah, we might see a better up. chance if we team up. Help me out here, Barn. Another one of those nice little traps. <sighs> oh yeah, that's the room I found all that ammo. Come on, barn. <sighs> I remember this was always a pain in the butt. You really got to get them around the corner or they just sort of stay there and don't move. Come on, follow me. Sometimes it's not worth it. I mean, I killed almost everything in on. there already. Yeah, shut up, Barney. See? That guy was right there and you didn't kill him. Oh, that's where we came in. This area. Okay. The road ahead. Yeah, it's got to go through here. Crowbar, do your stuff. The eight. Uh, long halt. You're gonna stay over there, Barney. Come on, follow me. Oh shoot. See you later. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you gonna cover me? Nope. I think he's stuck behind that corpse of a head humper. Never mind. Here's some more zombies. Right. Oh, what's our time here? Yeah, we're about 40 minutes in here. I think this looks like a good spot to end the episode for now. Uh, if I recall, that's a refrigerated area. And we'll get to that in the next scintillating episode. But thanks for joining me. Bye for now.